Hey everyone, I'm Ryder Stroud. I'm a rock climber, mountaineer, and a filmmaker out of China's Yunnan province. So I need your help for a big project I'm working on. I've been traveling with a team of climbers opening new rock climbing routes uh, up in the uncharted high altitude territory of China's western provinces, including uh, Yunnan, Sichuan, Qinghai, and Xinjiang. So I want to create a full-length documentary giving folks a new insight into the golden age of rock climbing that's really beginning out there in China's high country. So if you want to see more, you can visit my website and you can find more videos and articles about what I'm doing out there on the road. Thanks. There are many of us who have grown up with climbing. In our local gyms, on TV, and even in the movies. A generation of climbers has come of age where climbing is no longer a fringe activity, but instead it's part of the mainstream. Where you can find information most anywhere, People may still think you're crazy, but it's accepted. It's hard to believe that there was a time when America's famous walls were just freshly scaled. Freaking huge. The bigger walls were untouched, and Fred Becky was, or Fred Becky was always a dirtbag. There are some of us who still hold on to the thought that there's brand new rock to be climbed out there. Somewhere. Places far in the east have long been a destination for mountaineers looking to climb high peaks. But near those high peaks was something often overlooked. Brand new walls of sandstone, limestone, and granite. And for those climbers who do seek new cliffs, little did they know at first that one place is ripe for a new era of climbing. Such good route. Such a good route. It would just require going where most people would not think to first look. China. Information about how to get around in China is usually scarce. Stories trickle in here and there about unclimbed faces and beautiful new lines, some among the hardest in the world. The next challenge is figuring out how to get there. While China has been known for the limestone cars of sport climbing, there remain hundreds, if not thousands, of untapped rock climbs waiting to be discovered. But it takes willingness to venture out without the comforts of the post-rock revolution. It involves spending lots of time in small spaces with your friends. <laughs> that is good, love. That is a good ride. <laughs> <laughs> and it may involve first climbing some less than stellar lines. Nico, how many stars is that route? <laughs> Six. Six stars. And you may have some close calls. Dude. Do we have any gear down there? <laughs> the rope. The rope. And at times it may even drive you a little bit insane. We're all going a little crazy here. Before you can finally get a taste of what it's really like. To climb a route that's never been done before. And maybe, just maybe help bring about a new golden age of rock climbing. Here in Liming. Hey guys, here we are. For the park cave. On the park cave. Camels. Oh my god, oh. camels! They're real. Camels are real. If you try to go out, it's fine. If you try to go out, it's on. If you try to go out, it's on.